Hey everyone, happy Monday night and welcome to our weekly stamp and chat, uh, not weekly stamp chat, our weekly crafty session. I'm so excited to be with you. Today is Monday, August 5th. If you are watching live, you're going to see the red live button up top. And if you're watching on the replay, shout out to my replay warriors. My name is Ann Granger and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the beautiful town of Dorchester, Ontario, Canada. And welcome to my stamp room, aka my happy space. This is where you will find most me, most of my time in here creating. I love coming in, playing music, grabbing a stamp, paper and inks and creating projects. Really, it's like my, rea my escape from reality. I love it. Um, I don't know about you, but I always find we need that downtime and something that makes us happy. And crafting makes me happy. And I hope it makes you happy too. Popping on just a few minutes before 7 so Facebook can let you know I've gone live. And that gives me a chance to check my settings. I hope you've had a great day. It's another hot and humid day here in Ontario. I can't tell you when we have not had a hot and humid day. As you can tell, my hair is poofy. It's got that humidity in it. And there's just no, there's nothing you can do about it when it's hot and humid. Um, we were supposed to get rain. I think it rained for maybe five minutes. Um, it's breezy outside. I just took my puppy for a walk, which is kind of nice. But I think tomorrow is supposed to be a cool day. So I'm hoping that we can open the windows and or at least my front door and let some fresh air in besides my uh, craft room. If you're here, say hi. Let me know you're here. Um, if, Like I said, if you're watching on the live, comment, chat with me. It's like you're sitting in my craft room. Um, grab a drink, grab a snack. You know if you've been following me for a while, you know I love chocolate. And I didn't grab my bowl, but I do have, um, I don't know about you, but I love chocolate coconut macaroons. They're like my favorite, um, and my container's almost empty, so I need to get some more. So grab a snack, grab a drink. Um, maybe you're cooking supper wherever you're watching. Um, say hello. Um, please like and comment and share my video. That's the best compliment you can give me. And it lets your crafty friends know about what we're doing on Mondays and Wednesday nights. So Monday nights I go live at 7 p.m. Eastern time and I always bring to you a scrapbook page. I'm really excited to be sharing scrapbooking with you again. Uh, scrapbooking was actually how I got into um, Stampin' Up! way back. I've been a demonstrator for 17 and a half years and my love was scrapbooking and I moved into my new neighborhood and found some friends who were scrapbooking and I was like, well, that's really cool. What are you guys doing? Got into it and then they were like, stamps. I was like, what? Stamps? Like that's a whole nother world. But little low down the road, I just tried to give it a try and as soon as I put that stamp in my hand and to paper, I was in love, instant love. And I haven't turned back. So I'm excited to be bringing you a scrapbook page on Monday because I'm super excited to be announcing that in September, uh, Stampin' Up! hasn't released the date, but we will be carrying scrapbook kits and then a full line of scrapbooking products coming in the few, next few months. So I'm excited about that. And then I go live Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Eastern time and I bring you a card class that you can earn for free when you shop with me in my online store. It's my way of saying thank you. I always pick a product of the week. So this week I'm showcasing a new suite and bundle a bundle that's in the new suite that is coming out from our September to December catalog, aka the holiday. Oh my gosh, as a demonstrator, I get to pre-order from that catalog tomorrow and it is amazing. So many cute things. I cannot wait. I was chatting with my friend today. We were making our list for tomorrow and oh my gosh, I cannot wait. It's super cute. So I thought I would give you a sneak peek um, because maybe you're like, hey, I want those products. I want to be able to order early. That's one of the perks of being a demonstrator. And then you can join our Stampin' Up! team. We are called the Stamp to Create, and we would love to have you. And the bonus is you get to add holiday stuff into your starter kit, which is a super cool. All right, so as I said, we are showcasing a new one. It's called Wintry Treetop, and it's part of the Nest of Winter Suite. This week, when you place a $50 order in my online store using the host coding, you'll see that when I flip them, I am going to send you the pack to make these four cards. These four cards are designed around the Nest, no, the Nest of Winter Designer Series paper. Knowing that you could not purchase the bundle or the paper until September, 
I thought I would give you a sneak peek and I focused on the beautiful paper. And I'm going to show you that paper. If you are a nature lover or you love birds, you're going to want to add this to your set. As I said, a customer, you cannot order this until September 4th. But as a demonstrator, you can order this starting tomorrow, August 6th. Maybe you want to just join as a demonstrator to earn that perk. You can add this to your starter kit. Let's flip the camera and let's get started. Hey, Katie, thanks for joining tonight. Um, I'm going to flip my camera. It is a cloudy one here. It looks like it's going to rain. Um, not sure. I think it's supposed to rain later. But anyways, we're going to flip the camera. And we're going to get started. So you're going to see my blinds. You're going to see my beautiful outside. Um, <laughs> my friend Katie and I were chatting earlier and I said to Katie, when do you think it's going to like we can put out? fall stuff I like I've been shopping and I've seen some fall things and I'm like I just want to burn like the winter the fall scentsy and the fall candles and yeah I'm ready I'm done with this hot weather I'm not a person who likes hot humidity so I'm ready for cool days my favorite is is like cool in the morning warm during the day but not like super hot just enough that like you can wear like a sweater and shorts to work but then take your sweater off, but then come home and it's cool in the evening. I love opening my windows and letting that fresh air in. All right, so tell me, are you a fall? What's your favorite season? Mine's fall. Hands down, mine is fall. I love, 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 and I cannot wait to show you the amazing products in the holiday catalog, aka September to December. All right, let's, got some things to tell you about, and then we're gonna jump in. So one, Starting tomorrow, August 6th to August 31st, Stampin' Up! is having a designer series paper sale, which means 15% off any of these papers. If you've been following me for a long, a little bit and on our Monday Night Lives or Wednesday Lives, you know I've been using the Country Woods a lot. That is one of my favorite papers. We've also used the Lily Pond Lane. Uh, we've used the Bright and Beautiful. Um, and we've used the winter metal. So hand, oh, in the market to the market, hands down, I would be adding those to your collection. Um, and then say 15%. So I believe hopefully Stampin' Up! has a lot while supplies last. So you're going to want to order early so you don't miss out. But I would recommend the country woods. That's my favorite. We've been using that a lot in our, um, projects. As I said to you, you can earn this week's card class, which is what I showed you right here, these four cards. And I've given you a little sneak peek. Uh, if you place an order from today, which is Monday, August 5th, to Sunday, August 11th, using this host code in my online store, if you go to www.stampland.com, it'll explain this, um, I will send you the card pack for free. And as my way of saying thank you. And the neat thing about it, it's all designed around the designer series paper. You can use any greeting you want. You're going to get the cards, you're going to get everything else, and all you have to do is assemble. Now, if you want to use the same greeting as I did, that is from the wintry tree top, which remember, it's not available to September 4th, but you could add it in your starter kit tomorrow if you joined. So I just wanted to show you those products that we're featuring. Um, as I said, these both are not available to customers till September 4th. I know I'm showing you a little bit early, but I really wanted to give you a sneak peek. But I also wanted to tell you about that opportunity that you can add holiday products into a starter kit. Um, so you get to pick out $165 worth of product and you only pay $135. And you can add new holiday catalog product to that order. Trust me, you're going to want to order early because that stuff is going to fly off the shelves. All right, so let's actually show you the product. So let's start with the beautiful designer series paper. This is called Nest of Winter. I mean, you can see the patterns, beautiful like birch. I thought this would look like a, like a snowstorm. Um, you know, neutral colors that you could use for other day patterns. Um, I love this pattern of like birch trees. Um, but very, also you could use this for Christmas. So it would make some really great Christmas cards. So that's the paper. I wanted to show you just a couple of the sheets that I focused on for tonight's project. Oops, as I throw it over here. But as I said, here are the birds. This is the birds. Now, if you follow me, you know that I'm a huge cardinal lover. I have bird feeders in my front, and I always say cardinals are a sign from heaven. And I love when I get those signs. Um, so here, like beautiful birds that you could fussy cut out um, and add to your cart. So these are the papers that we projects 
like these are the birds that I used for my class to go and we're also using tonight. But I also wanted to show you this other pattern. This one has birds too. And then what I wanted to show you about this one was, and I'll bring the dies in in a minute, but these actually, the dies cut out these beautiful birds. Isn't that nice? So you don't have to fussy cut, you get to just cut them out. Oh, and then there's this one too, it cuts this one out. So there, so that you can cut out like a whole bunch of birds and uh, create cards with them. So that's why I wanted to focus on so more of the pattern paper, the designer series paper. And of course, just as I started my Facebook Live, that sun is like coming, I'm finding the sun is getting lower and lower. I think it's just gonna be popping from a cloud for a minute. Okay, so let's show you the products in this suite. First of all, you have the wintry treetop um, bundle. As I said, beautiful bundle. It has those birds. You can, like, once again, you can cut and die, cut those out. Those are the two dies I showed you just a minute ago. Some great greetings, some beautiful Christmas greetings, and some beautiful, um, I think they call these pussy willows. Uh, so super cute. Remind me of, like, birds sitting in holly bushes. Um, it is a red rubber, so it also has coordinating dies. These dies are beautiful, so you can see... So this die would fit this one here, right? Um, this would fit here. Uh, this one would fit this one. They're smaller, but like just for the image. And then this would fit here. So lots of ways you can use this. You can stamp and color or you can die cut. Um, so lots of different options. All right, so that is the bundle. Uh, so that is the wintery tree top bundle. Now, the neat thing about this, it comes with an amazing embossing folder called Birch Wood. It's one of our thicker ones, so you're definitely going to want one of our cut and emboss for this. I will be showing you this one on Wednesday night. So set your alarm for 7 p.m. and join me again for our wintry tree trap card class to go. But I wanted to show you what that looked like. So I just cut out, uh, this is gray granite, um, and I just embossed it so you can see, but look at the detail on that. So beautiful. If you're looking for like a great nature embossing folder, this would be the one you would want to add to your collection. You can buy it individually or you can buy this part of the suite, which is the, uh, what did I say it was? The Nest of Winter Suite. All right, so there's that. Now, also in this suite comes twine. As I said, this is a sneak peek. I don't know about you, but I'm ready for some cooler weather. So I thought doing some wintery stuff would make us feel cool in this hot heat. Um, so this is twine, copper clay, night and navy, and garden green. Beautiful earth tones. You could use these for masculine projects, nature projects, masculine birthdays. Uh, there's a lot you could use with those. We will be using those on Wednesday night also. And the one other thing that's in this suite. So in this suite, you get the bundle, the designer series paper, the embossing folder, the twine, and you also get these earth tone um, shimmery gems is what they're called. How cute are those? So it's garden green, um, copper clay, and I want to say maybe vanilla. I'm not sure what that color looks like. Or maybe basic beige. Garden green, basic beige, and copper. I think that's the colors. Isn't that beautiful? All right, so tonight we are creating a double page spread. I'm going to create one side with you, and then we're going to create, and I'm gonna show you the other side so you can see what that looks like together. As I said, my page is called a wintry um, day, and I think I will use, save this layout for the winter and hopefully I can capture some of the birds. Um, I love my one of my downlines. Um, her parents used to own a, a store here in, in London, um, but they don't, but it's still a great one. It's called Wild Birds Unlimited. And they have these character bird feeders, um, like you can get in the shape of a raccoon or, and I love putting them outside. I have like garden hooks and I love it because I sit here in my craft room in the winter and I can see all those birds and I love it, love it, love it. Okay, we're starting with, I'm just gonna move you back a little bit. We're starting with a 12 by 12 color, a 12 by 12 basic white. Um, and 
we are using gray granite. So I have a piece of gray granite and we're going to hear them in a minute. So we have two pieces of gray granite. They're about, they're one by 12. Now I will upload this video tomorrow to my YouTube channel and these, ugh, these, <laughs> this, these measurements will be on my blog tomorrow. So you'll be able to find them. All right, let's uh, start assembling. All right, so I am using our glass mat. And the neat thing about this is kind of has these markings on the side so I can use them to put my paper down. All right, so there's one. Now we're just gonna flip it over and do the other side. So once again, make sure I have the right, there, that's the one I wanted. Ha, um, here in Canada, today is an extra long weekend. Today is the Civic. It's one of those weird holidays where some people get it, some don't. Um, and it's more about like the shopping centers. They all are open and things like that. All right. I am using that beautiful birched paper, wood grain paper. And then on the back is this beautiful paper um, field of pussy willows, I think is what it is. All right. So let's go down and hear this down. And I think what I'm just going to do is like put it together and then I'll flip the other side. Sometimes having my view too big makes it too much. Okay, so I have that and we're going to flip it around and we're going to put a piece down here. So I have once again another smaller piece strip of the birch. I would love to know, are you guys scrapbookers, card makers, a little bit of both? I'm excited. Uh, bring card scrapbooking back into my business. I'm just working on my fall classes. I will be doing a little bit of hybrid, uh, so a little bit um, online and some in-person classes, so I'm excited for that. All right, so this is the top of our page. I have two pieces of uh, gray granite that are four and a quarter by six and a quarter, which is perfect for a four by six mat. So, um, I was just like, what happened? I saw a flash on my phone, but it's an, I think it's an Amber Alert. So, um, here in Ontario. So, four and a quarter by six and a quarter, which fits perfectly a four by six mat. So, you know me, I'm all about let's, a, let's a hear, not hear things, but let's just put things down so we know where they're going to go and then we will assemble in a minute. I have already gone ahead and fussy cut all the birds out just because I was like, that would take us a very long time, I hope. And I've already gone ahead and die cut out our words. So let me show you the words first. Our greeting is going to be a winter's day. And if you've been following me, you know that I have been using the Alphabet Lamo die. So these are dies you have not looked at or purchased. You might want to add them to your collection. They are great. Um, you have 52 letters, so a lot of the doubles for the uh, Alphabet. And I have to tell you, when I first got into scrapbooking, I used to buy sticker sheets. So my family's name, there's a lot of vowels. And a lot of A's, E's, I's and O's and unfortunately um, I would run out of those and I'd have to buy multiple sticker packs to get it then I would be stuck with all these X's and Z's and really not really used for them so when I started into stamping I was like oh if I buy like an alphabet stamp set in my own color inks I can make my own titles um, and I'm so glad I did because that's really how I got into falling in love with stamps. So what do I do? I take a piece of cardstock and I put on our adhesive sheets. So you've seen me in past videos, I've showed you how to do this. This is just an adhesive sheet that you pull off um, and you put it down and then you just run your dies on top. So I literally would just put my A in like, oops, like this on my cardstock, I would run it through my die cutting machine 
And then what happens is when you punch out those letters, where is my A? You get this, which is on a adhesive sheet, which makes adding titles so much easier. Now, my friend Katie, her and I stamp a lot together, craft together, and she was always using those adhesive sheets. And I would be sitting there trying to glue, and she would be like, Ann, you really need to use these adhesive sheets. But I've been using them more and more, so I'm sure she's proud of me. <laughs> All right, so let's put down our winter day, just so I know for placement. So A, as I said, I'm going to save this uh, page for the winter time. And hopefully I can capture some pretty birds while we're out walking. Um, I'm going to show you a trick for lining them up. I'm just putting my letters down right now. I know they're not straight. I'll show you in a minute. Now, I'm supposed to have a little apostrophe, but I don't think I probably lost it in the process. So... I will uh, I will look for it. Okay, so see now, if I would have glued this down, I wouldn't have had room, so I'm glad I didn't put that quite down yet. I wanna make sure that I have room for my letters first. All right, so there is my placement. I'm kinda happy with that. Now, I'm going to bring in a set of birds. So, you, as I said, I'm a huge fan of cardinals. I see cardinal signs all the time, and I know that's my loved ones up above. So, I want to put my cardinals up here as my focal point. So, I'm going to leave, I'm going to glue, I mean, here that one down, just because then I know it is where I need it to be. We're going to use dimensionals. Oh, look, there's my little he's apostrophe. It was hiding. Okay. So let's bring in our dimensionals. If you're just popping on, say hello. Let me know you're here. We are using a brand new suite from the September to December catalog, AKA the holiday is what I call it. Okay, so let's go ahead and put those down. I'm just going to pull this up and use it as a guide for my letters. Some people don't mind if their letters are not straight. Some people do. I am using our take a pick tool. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to peel off. Try to peel off. Hmm, these letter stickers. Okay, I might just have to use my get it started with my nails. Oh, there we go. That's easier. All right. So I'm going to use this little um, four by six mat as my guide for gluing down my letters, just so I know that they're straight. Okay. Are the colors are gray granite, basic white, and the pattern paper we're using is a wintry treetop bundle. I was able to get this bundle early because I participated in Stampin' Up's event called Creativity Now back in June. And when you registered for this event, you had the opportunity to purchase the bundle they were using or the suite as like a pre-order. Like pre so of course I had to jump on it because I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. And knowing me loving birds. Um, there. so I'm excited I have a feeling there will be people who are going to stay up and place their orders or get up really early um, I will take my chance tomorrow <laughs> but as I said there's some really cute products coming and I'm super excited to show those to you guys in upcoming uh, Facebook lives and classes. Okay, uh, oh, here's my S. I can't believe we're already into August. 
um, my summer is winding down, which means I will be heading back to work. Um, am I thrilled about that? Not really. I really like being home. But sometimes having routine is good too. Now I can just pull that one down. Ah! Runaway leather. Runaway leather. Oh my gosh, I said leather. Okay, so winter's day. We added our birds. Let's go ahead and put our mats down. As I said, they were four and a quarter by six and a quarter, which is perfect for a photo mat. Because our photos are four by six. And when you take your pictures, this is a tip that uh, me and Katie always do, is you should take your picture horizontally and portrait. So that way you have um, them in different, you know, sometimes you might take a picture and you're like, oh, I wish it was the other way. So if you take your pictures, if you think about it, take your pictures both ways and then you, when you bring it in. Um, if you've been following me, you know that I use... A Canon selfie printer um, mine is a CP 1300 which this is my second one my first one actually lasted for probably I want to say 10 years maybe 12 and then it just didn't work anymore so this is the newer one now mine is a couple years old I think they actually have a newer one out that's a 1500 I don't think there's much difference but I print my own pictures at home which is you know saves money and when I was in our local camera store picking up some of the refills the gentleman was telling me that these are very popular because a lot of wedding um, photographers will use them so they can like make quick pictures and show them what they look like so hands down highly highly recommend that for you I can show you what one of the pictures looks like um, just so you can see like I was just this was a picture for my um, my basket my daughter received as her last day at work but like the pictures are great so you would just peel this off perforate it off and then it easily would fit into a four by six mat for you so as I said I love it I use it all the time okay so let's just move this up a bit and we're going to bring in our other bird images so I have created cut out this little bird here um, what the names of these are I know these ones are cardinals I want to think these ones look like blue jays maybe they're not as dark as a blue jay because our blue jays are very dark maybe a sparrow no not a sparrow I don't know what this one is if you know the name of this one let me know all right so we're going to put this one down now when putting it near a photo you don't want to adhere this down or this down because when I put my photo in it would be stuck so I'm gonna put my pop-ups near the bottom so that I can slide my picture in there when I chickadee. Ah, oh, thanks, Katie. Katie says it's a chickadee. Oh, he's a cute little chickadee. So see how I have this enough room that I can slide a picture in. Now these ones are, I want to say they look like blue jays. I could be wrong, but um, pretty, very pretty. I love how they got the greenery with the berries. Reminds me of holly berry bushes. Uh, and I'm just gonna put that one right there. So once again, you know, if you're gonna put it up here, make sure you're not sticking it up high so you can put your pictures down. And I'm just gonna put this one down here. So there is our wintry day single layout. What do you guys think? Isn't it super cute? You know, sometimes our layouts don't have to be over the top. Sometimes you can create over the top pages. Sometimes you can create simple and easy. Um, and then it just, it helps with your scrapbooking. It gets, you know, you, you get a, 
lot done more fa a lot faster. I know a lot of my um, customers and teams they'll do scrapbook classes and then what they'll do is when they go to a scrapbook crop oh look I put my apostrophe in the wrong spot they will bring all these empty layouts and then they literally create put the pictures on and they're like booming through uh, at a scrapbooking crop which I absolutely love I love walking around when I do our scrapbooking crops because the the talent and what people do just is mind-blowing all right so there is our page one page and I'll bring in the other page and I'll show you what I did and then I will show them together. So once again, I carried in that theme of like, you know, the gray granite, the birch, did the same strips down here. I used the same mats, four and a quarter by six and a quarter. So this layout actually could put five pictures. Um, and then I cut out those birds. So I just fussy cut them out of the paper. Um, so I would take, this looks like a bit of a cardinal this looks like a female cardinal. This, I don't know what these ones are all are. I should know the names, but maybe a dove. Kind of looks like a dove. This one looks like a robin, but robin's bellies are more orange. Um, and I'm not sure what that one is. So if you know the names, let me know. All right, so there is that page. Let's bring that in so you guys can see that. How cute is that? Now we'll put them together and you can see what our double page spread looks like featuring the wintry treetop. Kind of bringing it in here. I should maybe, here, let me see if I can move my camera stand up just a bit for you guys so you can see the full, maybe that might be better. Oh, my arm was in there. Sorry, guys. There, you can see it a little bit more. Um, the full page of what that looks like. So there you go, showcasing a new bundle coming out in our September to December catalog and a new designer series paper, which you're gonna want because it's absolutely beautiful. And I think you could totally use this. Like this would have been really cool to use on our C page we did last week because it has that like plank look, right? You could use this on, um, like nature, masculine cards, like there's so much you could do with this paper. And then these birds, like think about, um, you could use them for sympathy cards, thinking of you, Christmas cards, birthdays for like those people that love bird watching in nature. And, um, and this would be really cool if you did like a hike and you were like out looking for birds. You could take pictures of you on your hike, looking for the birds. Um, maybe you collect bird feeders. You could take pictures of your bird feeders. Um, I will probably do my bird feeders and then hopefully try to capture some birds at my bird feeders. I think that will be always fun. Also, don't forget when you are scrapbooking that you should always journal. So maybe, you know, like I could use, I could maybe put a, a journaling card on one of these and write about like how much I love bird watching. You know, I could also maybe just put down here like winter 2024, um, bird watching or like went on a hike at this location. Always make sure you're adding your, um, your journaling because it's a story. You're telling a story and that's what scrapbooking is, is you're preserving your memories and telling a story for future generations. So many of us have cell phones now and so many of us have pictures on our phones and we need to get those pictures off our phones and into scrapbooks because that is what people are going to look at down the road. They're going to pull out a scrapbook and relive those memories of a special event, sad moments, happy moments, a holiday, a Christmas gathering, a birthday. They're not gonna scroll through your phone. So it's always important to document and share those so that you have them for your loved ones for future generations. As I said, scrapbooking is my passion. I'm super excited to be bringing this back in for you guys. Um, I have been doing this now, I think. Oh, I think this is our like fifth week, fourth, fifth. We, well, we did it all in March, July, so we're probably going on fifth or, no, I think this is our sixth week of scrapbooking and I'm absolutely loving it. Um, now I just need to find a scrapbooking crop to go to. 
Hmm. But not one where I'm organizing it because I can't scrapbook in those days. I need to go be a person that just sits and creates. I think that's what I need to do. All right, everyone. So let's do a quick recap. We use the wintry tree top bundle. Let me get that back out and show you. This bundle is a new one that's going to be available in our September to December catalog. I'm hoping my catalog comes in the mail this week. I saw some of my demonstrator friends in Alberta got theirs. So last week, so I'm hoping here in Ontario we get ours this week. Um, so I can show you the front catalog cover. I can't show you the inside. But if you are a customer of mine and have placed an order in the last six months, you will automatically get that catalog in the mail as my way of saying thank you. Or if you are here in Canada and do not have a demonstrator, I would love to help you out. Leave me a message and I'll pop one in the mail for you. I will be ordering my catalogs um, this week. And then I will be popping the mail in the mail um, probably like the second last week of August. So Winter Tree Tops is a new bundle in the, in the September to December catalog. It's part of the Nested of Winter Suite. So how can you get this right now? Well, you could add it to your starter kit starting tomorrow. So pre-order for us demonstrators is from August 6th to September 3rd, I believe. So you could add that into your starter kit, become a demonstrator, get all the perks of being a demonstrator, test drive the, the, the opportunity. And I will tell you that 90, I want to say 96% of my team and I have a big team, is happy stampers. And what do I mean by that? They are the ones who love to create. They are the ones who love the friendships and the connections. They are the ones who just love buying product and creating projects for themselves, whether it's scrapbooking or cards to give to family and friends. But they do it because they love it, and they do it for the friendship and the connection in the community. Plus, the bonus for them is getting it as a discount getting 20% off or 25% off your orders each time you order. So if you would love to learn more about being a demonstrator, we would love to help you. Um, we would love for you to join our community. It is an amazing community from the East Coast to the West Coast of Canada. All right, so if you place an order in my online store this week using this code right here, I am going to send you the pack, card pack, one of each, four cards, all the supplies you need. So I will um, cut, emboss, I will um, give you the twine you need, I will give you the embellishments you need. Um, the only thing I can't do is stamp an image. So for example, I can't, I will give you the banner, but I can't stamp this image, but I will tell you what stamps that I used, obviously is the winter tree drop, and I will tell you the color. So you could either use your own greeting at home. Many of us have thinking of you. A lot of these are thinking of you cards or friendship cards. And I actually made a masculine birthday because I wanted to show you how you could do that. As I said at the beginning, they all focus on the designer series paper. So um, that way you didn't necessarily need the stamp set right away or if you wanted to add it to your starter kit, but you could put it on your list for September. Trust me, you're gonna want this one. It's like, look at this cute paper right here. So cute, I love it. So I will be showing you these four cards on Wednesday night. So set your alarm Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Eastern time right here on this, where we are right now. I will walk you through putting these four cards together. Then when you place an order in my online store, I will package these up and they will go out in the mail next Tuesday. Plus, I will send you a PDF listing all the supplies and the measurements in case you wanna remake them plus the link to this video so you the video so you can re-watch it. This one will be up on my blog tomorrow and I will include all the measurements you need so you can recreate this page at home. And if you have any questions, you know how to reach me. I saw some comments. Katie says, I love the layout. The birch paper is nice. Yes, isn't that beautiful, Katie? I think I could see so many fun projects done with it. Think one of that big projects we're working on. That would be really cool. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for stopping by tonight and crafting with me. If you're watching on the replay, shout out to my replay warriors. Two more things. Please like, comment, and share my video. That is the best compliment you can give me and how we find more people to add to our crafting community. 
We want everyone having a friend and connecting with others and creating and totally creating and stamping is therapeutic. It's escape from everyday life. Uh, go into your craft room, put on your music and just like let go of everything that happened that day. Relax yourself for a relaxing evening or day. Also, make sure you, um, I will put the link in this video afterwards, but sign up for my newsletter. That's how you guys get to find out what week of car, like product of the week I'm using first. Plus, you're going to be for, first to find out about my classes to go. Um, so, yeah, don't you don't want to miss out on the fun. So, make sure you sign up for that. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. And we will see you Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Time for our card class to go for the week. Bye, everyone. Have a great week.